today we are going to take a look on how we can create the USB thumb drive with the latest version of Windows 11. If your computer is not compatible with Windows 11, don't worry, this video is for you. I'm going to share with you the easiest and fastest way with just a couple of clicks to create a USB pen drive and with a few minutes you will be ready to install it in yours. Now if you are using Windows 11 and you still haven't activated or even Windows 10, don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below in the video description it will get a bit cheaper so just in case the link will be down below that being said let's take a look at this screen and here we are on my screen and this is the app that we are going to use Rufus now you probably have used it in the past with different ways but there is one option that will enable the way to create a USB pen drive in a really fast and easy way and that's what we are going to do now I will leave the link down below for Rufus but if you search on Google you will find it easily if you scroll down you will find several versions the one that I prefer to use is the portable version the latest at this moment is 4.4 so if you are watching this video later on probably you will have 4.5 or 4.6 doesn't matter so I'm just going to press it and it's going to download and there we go I have downloaded to my download folder which I'm going to open and here we are with Rufus 4.4 so I just need to double click and as it's a portable version I don't need to install now this question here is really important because if we answer no we will not have a very important option on the next step so what I want to do is say yes I want to have the updates and whatnot I can close this file here as you can see the portable version will create the file here where it will save all the details that we choose so the next time it will not ask now what we are going to do is I've got a USB drive here which I already recorded a video for my Puchkis channel so just going to format it really quick so just select it format and that is it we are going to delete everything that is right over here so that we can start a fresh installation you don't need to do that I'm just doing this for the video purpose so you don't see that I already have a pen created so it's completely empty right now I'm going to close this and there we go it has selected my USB drive and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave as it is right over here but here I'm going to select download and this will not appear if we selected no on the question that we had before so I did answer yes to updates and I've got the option to download and that's what I'm going to press download and right now I'm going to press right over here it will fetch data it will do its magic and I will have the option right over here to download Windows 11 10 or even Windows 8 point one so if you are looking for something nostalgic here it is but I'm going to leave it a Windows 11 select continue and it will select the version which is the latest version 23 h2 and the latest build as well so let's press continue edition uh, Windows 11 that is it home pro or education continue and here we will have to select the language now we can select any language that I've got right over here basically what it's doing is all the options that we have on the Microsoft website it's getting for us so this is awesome and it's grabbing everything from Microsoft so it's completely fine so English international I'm going to leave it like this press continue I'm going to leave this option as it is but there's nothing else that we can select and here if you have some issues while downloading then you might want to try the browser but the only thing that it will do is redirect to the browser for the downloads I'm going to leave it as it is and I'm going to press download now I'm going to select where I want to save it and can be on my downloads folder so just press yes and it will start doing its magic which is just awesome now this part will take a little bit And it just finished the download and as we could see it did put right over here on the selection the downloaded file so we don't need to do anything now let's go and leave uh, everything as it is we can rename but I'm going to leave it as it is right 
here and right now I can just press start and here is one of the interesting parts. Now, if your computer is not compatible, you want to choose this first option right over here, which is to remove the requirements for four gigabytes of RAM and the CQ boot and TPM 2.0. Oh, if your computer is compatible, you can just disable and that is it. Now, all the others are optional as this one is. We can remove requirements for an online Microsoft account. So I can install Windows 11 without having an online Microsoft account. And we can also create a local account with the username Roberto George Tech or any other name that you want. So I can just press this and it will not ask me which is my username it will go directly also i can set the regional options so i will not have to mess around after so it will get the information that i've got on this computer here we can also disable data collection you know those boring questions that we have on the windows 11 installation that is great and then disable bitlocker automatics device encryption so this is just awesome and it will save a lot of time on all these options just going to press ok another program or processes accessing this drive possibly i did uh, do anything but it's okay you just need to make sure that you have selected your correct usb drive before deleting i'm going to press yes all data will be erased okay and there we go it will start by deleting and it will start the process which will take a little bit less than downloading but i will speed it up Just finished the old process as you could see it did copy all the files and then it applied all the customizations that we selected if you don't select all those options then it will take a little bit less but it was i don't know about two minutes or so creating the whole process and that is it at this moment if i go to my computer i can see that i've got right over here the uh, USB drive that we created and the name that we left was this one right over here. So this is the name that we have. We can rename it afterwards, but it is now ready to remove it from this computer and install it on any other computer, or even if you want to do a fresh install on this one. So it's really simple and easy. Actually, this is the fastest and simplest way that I'm aware at this moment of creating a USB pen drive, bootable drive in this particular case, for the latest version of Windows 11. If the video was helpful, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.